What's up guys, Nick Young here from Seller Tradecraft and today we're going to talk a little bit about what to do when you run out of stock. Now a lot of people hit us up all the time on Facebook or in person and ask me, how do you guys deal with running out of stock? Um, should we avoid it at all times? All that kind of stuff. And what I like to say is running out of stock in some cases, in a lot of cases, really is unavoidable. But there are a few different tactics that you can use to minimize the effects of running out of stock. Now as you know, when you run out of stock, that negatively impacts your sales performance. And sales performance is key for making sure that you rank to the top for your primary keywords. Now, in order to minimize the damage that gets done to your listing, when you do run out of stock, which is inevitable, there are a couple key things that I like to follow and apply to my own products, and it's worked out pretty well for us. Number one, first thing you might want to do when you know you're about to run out of stock is to slowly raise a price. Now, a lot of people say that this impacts your conversion rates, and that's certainly true. So make sure you don't get too crazy. Raise it by one to three dollars. Try to make more margin and slow down the sales just a little bit so you can keep that tied over. And make sure you anticipate stockouts before it happens. Now, obviously, you can't always make that happen. Delays happen all the time. It happens to us all the time. So raising that price can sometimes make your inventory last a couple days longer so that you have more time for your inventory to arrive back at the warehouse. Now, obviously, in some cases, you might not have another shipment coming through. In which case, once you run out of stock, one of the key things to make sure you do is to make sure you close your listings. Now, there's no structural exact data to prove this, but we've figured out anecdotally that when we close our listings, it tends to not hurt our listings as much when we do run out of stock. So whenever you run out of stock, even when you're just about to launch a product, make sure your listing is closed so that Amazon doesn't record any zero sales performance. Anytime your listing is activated and you have zero inventory, to Amazon that registers as zero sales per day. And it's gonna be really hard for you to break out of that sales performance history. So closing that listing helps minimize the damage to your listing when you do run out of stock, which as I mentioned before, is always inevitable at some point in time. Now, once your stock comes back into the Amazon warehouse, what we like to do is we like to specifically raise our PPC budgets and bids for specific keywords that convert really well by at least 25 to 30%. Now, this is our third strategy. Utilize Amazon PPC and leverage it to drive additional traffic to your listing and activate that listing once your inventory is back in stock. This is a really easy way to pay for initial traffic up front. Wait seven to 14 days, see how that works for your listing. If you're starting to go back and creep up and rank, it's gonna take at least 10 days for your listing to even get close to what it was normally before. Now, in addition to that, you should try to make sure that you order just enough inventory to maybe do some targeted giveaways. Use a tool like Zonjump, Viral Launch, and use those tools to strategically target secondary keywords or primary keywords that are really relevant and that you used to rank for on the first page. If you do a giveaway for over eight to nine days for some keywords, it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to rank and stick for the first page in conjunction with doing aggressive PPC advertising. Now once your listing is back to where it was, it's close to that ramp up stage, then start to slowly reduce your bids by 10% week over week and see where you go from there. Now this is our strategy that we use at Seller Tradecraft. It's worked really well for us and hopefully you guys find this useful. Now if you found this useful, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.